Hello from 4 Chemistry Chapter 6 Book 2 Video number 16 Page number 11 This is mean Start now Okay Today our title will be here To form the balanced ionic equations To represent the precipitation of barium chromate Through the continuous Continuous variation method You understand the title? So for the last video I give you the basic What is mean by continuous variation method This is the method for you to write up the ionic equations for the formation of the insoluble salts 要做不能溶解的盐多少的离子加多少的离子才能形成呢 But today we're going to prepare the experiment the real experiment to, to form barium chromate 要形成一种盐就叫 barium chromate So how is the process? Follow me slowly Okay? 慢慢地跟着我了 So barium chromate Okay? Formation of the barium chromates, it must be come from the ions called bariums and chromate ions. But when barium join together with join together with the chromate, how many ions of bariums join together with how many ions of chromate finally can form barium chromate? Okay? Oh, well, today we're going to prepare two soluble salt, yen. One of them is called barium chloride, that is soluble. Barium ion is colorless, chloride ion is colorless. So barium chloride is also colorless. Okay, another one we're going to put prepare potassium chromate. For all the salts of the potassium, they must be soluble. So potassium ion is colorless, chromate is yellow color. Chromate ion actually is yellow color. So potassium chromate, the solution actually is yellow color. This kind of solution is actually So barium chloride that is colorless, potassium chromate actually is yellow color. Okay, so when they join together, so potassium join together with the chloride, barium join together with the chromate, finally become the insoluble salts called barium chromate that is yellow in color. Okay, so again, repeat again, barium chromate actually make up of how many barium ions and how many chromates ions and finally become barium chromates. That is our method. Today, okay, so prepare experiment, turn to your page number 11, this email. Barium chloride, million sir. Potassium chromate, huang sir, the yi ti. Okay, finally making the insoluble salt of precipitate, that is yellow color, barium chromate. Okay, so how is the experiment? Tada si yin si zhen yang de na. Okay, follow me la, gen zhou eh. Prepare actex test tubes, jumpe pazi test tube, the same size of test tube, imo yang ta the test tubes. And in each of the test tube, we fill the test tube with 5 ml potassium chromate solution. Potassium chromate, 5 ml. And the molarity of the potassium chromate is 0 0.5 mol per cubic dm. Now, the nong tu, those are 0.5 mol per cubic dm. Or can you tell me, inside each of the test tubes, time may the test tube limit? How many mole of the chromate ions we have? 里面拥有多少mole的chromate ion? Okay, so the number of mole equal to mv per thousand. mv per thousand. m is here, v is here, per thousand. So after the calculation, you're going to get an answer. The number of mole of the chromate, the number of mole of chromate equal to mv per thousand. Okay, and after the calculation, each of the test tube actually contains 0.0025 mole of chromate ion. May the test tube remain to your 0.0025 moles of chromate ions. Okay, but how many moles of potassium ion inside? May the test tube tell you to some mole the potassium ion. You see, potassium chromate actually is made out of two potassium ion with chromate ion one. Okay, or to either. When chromate is 0 0.0025, potassium will be double, la, 0 0.005. But today, potassium ion is not involved in our precipitation process. So we just ignore. What we want to know is just the number of mole of the chromate of me, 0 0.0025, link in link in O. So copy on your notes, sin chow in the notes. Where? Here. Potassium chromate today in each of the test tubes is equal to mv per thousand. So the number of more of the chromate ions equal to mv per thousand. And after the calculation, the answer will be 0 0.0025. 零点零零二五。So 抄在这边，抄什么 ？Okay， 那抄这个啦，抄这个一片混乱的。
number tau lah. The number of mole equal to mv per thousand. So after the calculation, 0 0.0025. Or oh, in other meaning, last sentence. Okay, the number of mole of chromate in each of the test tube is 0 0.0025. LinkedIn, Ling Ling Erwu. Okay, so this is what happens. Now, what to do? Just like I'll talk some of the things. Okay. Prepare a burette, prepare a burette, and refill the burette with the barium chloride solution inside. The main chunk of barium chloride solution, and the molarity is 0.5 mol per cubic dm. Its the nongtu is 0.5 mol per cubic dm. Burette, first one is huh? Barium chloride, chunk in the main nongtu 0.5 mol per cubic dm. So for the first test still, we add one ml of barium chloride solution inside. Second test tube, we add 2 ml, 2 ml. Third test tube, we add 3 ml, and so on. Now, continue to test it. Okay, until the egg test tube receives the egg and ml, so that the part of the test tube now that 8 ml the barium chloride solutions. Okay, so just continue until the last test tube. Just continue, continue, until your last test tube test tube is finished. Okay. And now, can somebody tell me inside the first test tube how many moles of the barium ions we have? I don't care about the chloride. What we are going to the chloride because chloride is not involved in our precipitation process. So, how many moles of the barium ions contains in the test tube number one? You mean how many moles of barium the liter? The number of moles again equal to m v. Per thousands. So after the calculation, the first test tube contains 0.0005 moles of barium ions. So 0.0005 moles of barium deletes. Okay, and you just continue the calculation. Second test tube, m v per thousands 0.01. Now just the sunset chi lah. Okay. Okay. So after you add the barium chloride solutions, you just stir the solutions, stir the solutions, shake it, shake it, yao tai, yao tai, isya, and put on the test tube rack for one hour, then one hour. Okay, then it one hour. So after one hour, the precipitates okay going to form, and the precipitate going to sink under the test tube. They are the precipitate, all of them are in your test tube. Oh, what is the yellow color precipitate here? This green precipitate is who? Barium chromate, which is barium chromate. Okay, so this is the orange color precipitate. Okay, this is all barium chromate. Okay, so 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 this is all barium until the test tube number five, you can see the height of the precipitate cannot increase anymore. Or in other meaning, the quantity of the precipitate does not increase anymore. 就不再增加的。到第五次 test tube 为止了。所以 can draw slowly, 慢慢的画，画到它越来越多，越来越多。Or take your notes, 那自己加下去。到第五次 test tube 就放平了，就不要再增加了。Okay, barium chromate forms. Okay. And now from the height of the test tube, from the height of the test tube, I almost can get my answer. 我几乎找到我的答案了 Okay, you see, in the first test tubes, the height of the PCP that is low, increase higher, 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 until the test tube number five, the height of the PCP that is reach the maximum. 它已经来到最高了 So test tube number five actually is the place for me to make calculation. Oh, this is the very important part for this experiment. Okay, or what's the meaning here? You see, ah, when the height when the height of the PCP that cannot increase anymore, it means all the barium ion react completely with all the chromate ions to become the barium chromate. So after this, you can see the PCP that cannot increase anymore. Its PCP that cannot increase anymore, right? Or this is the test tube. For the complete reaction take place, 完整的化学反应就在这一支 test tube 里面发生，明白吗？在第五支 test tube， 全部的化学反应已经起完了。Okay, and from the test tube number five, I can see some things. The number of mole of the barium ion is zero point zero zero two five. And I know in each of the test tube, the number of mole of the chromate actually is zero point zero zero two five, 零点零零二五 Or I can see something very important. 在第五次 test tube， 全部的化学反应起完。零点零零二五 mol 的 barium 对零点零零二五 mol 的 chromate 
就形成了 barium chromate. Okay, so 0.0025 react with 0.0025. So one mole react with how many mole? 0.0025 to 0.0025. So one mole to 对一多少 mole 呢？一 mole 呢 ？I know the meaning from here. I I know the result. 我已经知道成绩了。One mole of barium going to join together with one mole of chromates to become barium chromates. How how I know? Because I 看到零点零零二对零点零零二，所以一 mole 等一下就会对一 mole。对不对 ？So this is a test tube number five, or this is a place for you to calculate the ionic equations for you to get answer for ionic equations. So copy somewhere around here, 抄在这一边，哈。Your notes here, 抄在这一边。Okay, 抄在这边啊。Bye. So at test tube number five, 抄在这边啊。At test tube number five. The precipitate reaches the maximum heights. 那个 precipitate 不能溶解的盐就叫 precipitate reaches the maximum height. 它已经来到最高的高度了 Okay. And at the test tube number five, barium ion react completely with the chromate ion. Barium and chromate 完全的起了化学反应 And during the test tube number five, 0.0025 moles of barium react with 0.0025 moles of chromate. So one mole of barium will react together with one mole chromate to form the precipitate called barium chromate. So 零点零零二五对零点零零二五，一 mole 将会对一 mole. Okay. So our answer is come up here. 我们的答案马上就出来了 The ionic equation is here. One mole of barium joined together with one mole of chromate to become barium chromate. 一 mole 的 barium. 对 ，emol 的 chromates 将会变成 barium chromates， 所以 the ionic equations 就是一对一变成 barium chromate。Okay， and the whole method here we call continuous variation method 啦，慢慢的加，慢慢的加，慢慢的加 continuous variation method until you get the answer。Okay， so this is the basic for this method called continuous variation method。So we're going to continue the same experiment with our notes. Ah, use our notes. We look carefully a little bit because we we need to write the answer in exam. So we need to look more carefully, add a little bit. Okay. But now the basic is already understand. The basic you have already understood, right? Okay. So thank you. Bye bye. See you in another video.